Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Izzy and I make lifestyle and travel content, but today we are doing another garden update kind of video. I just wanted to show you guys some stuff we've been working on. So our plants have literally grown so much since the last time I showed you guys. I forgot which vlog it was. It was like a few weeks ago, but um, part of that video, we were working on the garden for like some hours and I'm already sweating because I'm filming the intro after the video so what you're gonna see in this video is us basically like repotting all the tomato not all of them but most of the tomato plants um into a larger planter box that we got from home depot we'll link all the things that we used below but yeah if you're trying to like start or grow like an apartment garden in a small area you'll probably enjoy this video hopefully it inspires you to do it or to continue um gardening is not listen not for the week but it's very rewarding because you'll see you'll see we're actually we're getting somewhere so i hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and don't forget to leave me any questions if you have any disclaimer i'm not an expert bradley's not either he knows a lot more than i do and i'm learning from him he's the environmental guy so yeah i can always relay questions or just give you guys general like advice and um based off of what we have experienced with the garden so far so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video cool okay, this is a city pickers self-watering raised bed box This is the water fill tube, but okay. So this should go in. This is an aeration screen, so it looks like. Place screen fill tubes and cast it into your. Securely makes your fill tube. So I guess this does go at the bottom. I guess it allows air to get to the bottom of the mm -hmm. bed when you fill it up, I guess, because there's like little holes. Yeah. So I guess you would just put this little in the Are these supposed to be opened? I think it's probably just from like the manufacturer just to the front tree. But they're supposed to be. Okay. I guess. I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> so I guess it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Just fill this up with soil. We don't really need the mulch cover because we have mulch. I don't know how many cover. tomatoes. Like a so mulch is just like a cover for the like a topsoil yeah but i guess this is just a way of oh i see it's like acting as mulch oh you don't really like need this but you don't want it raised hmm? i mean? thought you were doing the mulch so that the plants would sit higher no i was doing the mulch to protect protect the leaves from the soil oh, okay. so You did. I did. Yeah. They're diseased. I'd have to Google it. Oh, because of the spots? Yeah, I can't tell if that's a disease. <gasps> or... <gasps> there has tomato. Oh, it does. <gasps> we got a tomato. So I'll definitely plant this one. Babe, it's your first tomato. I know. It's crazy. Look how cute. We got a tomato. You did it, babe. Not yet. You didn't even notice. Didn't. The fruits of your labor. We got a tomato. So pretty. It's the only ones, right? That's the one I figured would bear first, too. That was like the one that was. This was the biggest one? So we're thinking about putting all the tomatoes in this city picker box, this planter box, and then all the other plants we're probably just gonna... Oh yeah, we got that other thing right here. Yeah, the yeah. So we, we bought these like longer planters that I think we're gonna put 
all the other plants in there somehow. We gotta figure it out. So we're cleaning this with alcohol first. Well, it prevents disease. We gotta clean them with alcohol. Use the Chick fil A cup. I did. I gotta get, throw that away though. <laughs> and then nice and clean. The letters. Okay, so we have Leftover. all purpose hot oil. I think it was like $10. I think it was cheaper right? than that. It's like $8. Yeah. I'm taking some stuff off. Mm -hmm. Toss them over there. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know where my gardening boys are. You got salt away. Oh, we can not well, no, they were nasty. They were disgusting. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm spade. I'm still telling you, need the other bag. Am I weird for liking the smell of soil? <laughs> like that's weird. <laughs> no. But maybe not. So this was our most successful tomato plant. So we're gonna plant her here, but we just have to look up how far apart we have to plant them because I don't think it's good for them to be planted really close to each other. So do your research before you just plant. Because don't want to learn the hard way after such a long process just to get a few tomatoes. And I think these are cherry tomatoes. So, so we have our, what is this thing called? Trellis cage. Trellis cage. Tomato cage or a trellis cage, I guess. It's the fancy word for it. That one's there. This one too. Oops. Goodness. Okay, we're gonna do this one too. She gets jiggy enough so it can see. You just squeeze it right, babe. Yeah, just cut it. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of soil. Not Ava eating the spinach. Hey, bro. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, I didn't tease it. No, not that one. It, one either this one or that one, because I have two. Or three. Yeah. Oh, don't don't plant this one. Yeah, yeah, I have two on this side over here that I want to plant. Oh, so we already got. Unless you put that one in the middle. So we picked four good tomato plants. Maybe five. I guess we'll see once we have the cajun. Yeah.
More soya. Brad's getting his hands dirty. I have nails. <laughs> Decided to take the cage out, plant them, and then put the cage back in. It's cage time. Get these guys out of the way. Oh, I see. So the the stems don't have to be directly along the cage. No, because they'll just kind of grab onto it. Yeah, they oh, just grab onto it. Oh, cool. So you have to like attach them. No, no, like you could do something like this. Oh, I see. Just and like grow. curl them in. Yeah. Like maybe like that. Yeah. Go like drop the bond and go to the thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that. Could probably do some like pruning of it. So that way we. Uh... <clears throat> what do you mean? Because if they get too close to each other and one gets like diseased or something, then like they can kind of choke each other or like cause diseases on other ones. It looks cute though. I think I might just leave the middle. Leave the middle open? I think so. Okay. So you're trying to figure out what to do in this corner. What corner? I was talking to the camera. I'm trying to figure out what to do in this corner, but we decided that the chair's here. And the palm here. Pop this all together because their root system doesn't grow that deep. Mm. Just prune these. These are supposed to also be 18 to 24 inches, but if they're gonna die, they're gonna die. <laughs> okay. Brad said these are also supposed to be 18 to 24 inches, but it is what it is, pretty much. Can I move the little poster? Sorry. This one's struggling to come out. Oh, there we go. Got it. <laughs> this one's not really. Oh, I see. Just needs some more scope. Yeah. See how the 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 stem like curls and then goes up. It does it on both. That's because it, it wasn't supported properly when it was like a seed like. So I might just have to kind of pack it down. Pack it down. Does kale require a lot of water? Kale does, yeah. That's what I heard. I just need summer to, it, I need it to be a longer summer so that all of our plants don't just die in the winter, like as soon as we're gonna like harvest or something. Yeah. We're gonna have to harvest a bunch of this stuff before winter comes, or I guess I should say fall. Right? Fall than winter, but, um, Maybe we can like freeze all the kale and like use it throughout the winter. That'd be cool. What'd you say, babe? We could freeze all the kale and use it throughout the winter. Yeah, for smoothing. Yeah, we'll have another. Okay, take Stop. <laughs> Why is she like this? Stop. It's not. 
in here I can always grow like scrub I guess we just do this. That is I'm gonna start some more ladies. They go pretty well. Yeah, we actually use them. Their roots are probably intertwined at this point. I think they'll be fine. Together? No, apart, and then you just put two. Or, oh, maybe. Yeah. Kill them. I don't know if it'll damage them that much. I'm not sure. I can just plant it at it as is and see what happens. This one definitely seems different than these two. I don't know how this one got all messed up. <laughs> I thought that one was like a different type of lettuce. I kind of want to get rid of it. It's like mutated. These two I just play next. Keeping them together? Yeah, see how they do, I guess. Two tomato plants in here. Breaking the woods. But I think we're gonna be lucky. Maybe. Hopefully. So we got this mulch from Home Depot again. I don't remember how much. I think it was like four bucks. Yeah, it was four bucks. It was like four bucks. So we're just gonna put mulch at the bottom. And then store at the top. So the, the mulch will help drain. If you run out of soil, you can use mulch at the bottom. Now, I, I haven't done research on like, if, I wouldn't say effectiveness, but whether or not they would recommend it for a garden, but I wouldn't be surprised. Again, this is like an apartment application, so like... Yeah, it's you know, very apartment-like. This helps. <laughs> and honestly, the same exact amount of soil uh -huh. um, and mulch. Mulch is like half the price. So. Yeah, mulch is half the price of soil, and it can basically just be like a filler for your pot again disclaimer we're not professionals but this is traditionally used as a top top layer traditionally to used as a top layer yeah and decoration thing. so hopefully this works out for our tomatoes so about halfway oh uh, this might only be enough space for one beer 
think, yeah, I think so. We might be pushing our luck if we want to. And this is our happy one. So. Yeah, this is the one we're banking on. This is the one we're banking on for actual <laughs> tomatoes, so. I love cherry tomatoes. I love them. And these might be like the rainbow ones too, right? They might be. I'm not sure. I, I think those. That, I think that's what the package said. It was like the rainbow cherry tomatoes. Mm. I love putting them like with meals or like with eggs, like egg whites and stuff. Breakfast. I'm gonna finish this off with a top layer. Top layer mulch. Top layer mulch, come up. Hit up Bradley for any of your apartment garden needs. <laughs> okay, this is version one. Uh, so we'll see how this turns Might see out. business come out of this. Just kidding. If this actually works, maybe we'll consider. Consider doing more stuff like this. Because we're probably going to have a balcony for a few more years, so. Are we done? I mean, we just got to clean up and figure out what to do with the rest of this. Thing. Yeah, so we just got to clean up, organize the balcony, and then we'll show you the final product. Can we give them away? These plants? Tomatoes. Um, we can see if the, any of them sprout in the next week. While I'm inside here, I'm just going to take these dead leaves off of this plant because it's not good to keep them in. Now we're repatting these babies. And I'm pretty sure this is cilantro. We can't remember what these are, but I don't know. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. But this kind of looks like some of these look like basil leaves. This is definitely cilantro though. You saw one of my other vlogs. We were out in the garden repotting a whole bunch of these, but there were still more that we did not repot. Most of them that they see here is what we were repotting. Don't know what it is, but it's thriving. This I think is basil. Right? It definitely looks like basil. Cap the water. Okay, before we lose sunlight, we are slightly done. Um, it's still a mess out here, but we're probably just gonna pick up tomorrow since it's getting dark. And yeah, so let me show you guys everything we did. Not finished, but it's good. It's good enough. We repotted a couple things over here, but not too much. These are mostly just tomato plants. These are Brussels sprouts. Can make it, so we're not betting on those. Our beautiful tomato plant here that is actually sprouting. And over here, I believe these are also basil leaves, basil plants, um, or tomato plants. Here we have all the kale, our beautiful tomato cage, some more Brussels sprouts that we're not betting on because. They're all shriveling. And and Ava hiding in the bushes. Hi. Alright guys. Now they're all sweaty and hungry. Hungry and Starving. dirty. It's like our short little um garden update. Yeah, I just gotta finish so. it up and be straight. Yeah. I'll probably be making future videos. Um on the garden and just like where we're getting with it and if you guys have any questions i'm not an expert bradley knows a lot more than me 
but I can always relay questions to him. So. Try to add the stuff too in the description. Yeah. Yeah, we can add. We'll like link everything below that we bought from Home Depot, or if maybe there's a cheaper option on Amazon, which there probably is. But we went to Home Depot quickly on his lunch break just to grab some stuff, so we didn't really have like time to like compare yeah guys i hope you enjoy this video and don't forget to leave me a comment if you have any questions and i hope to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching Bye.